Hey there all you cool little penguins. Today I'm going to talk about installing Evernote. Evernote's a note taking program that uh, that people use to keep track of stuff. Uh, they only make Evernote for Mac and Windows so but we can install Evernote for Windows in Wine on Linux. I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to go ahead and download the Evernote for Windows. Uh, I've already done that to save time. Here it is. It's Evernote 4.4.1.4892 is the one that I'm testing with. Uh, and then the next thing is you'll go out to winehq.org and uh, click on the download and then the Ubuntu. Uh, we're going to be installing this Wine 1.3 beta which is the newest version of Wine in our operating system here which is uh, Ubuntu 11.04 Natty Narwhal GNU Linux so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this through the terminal uh, you know you can do this through the the Ubuntu software center also but I'm gonna show you how to do it through the terminal so what you do is you go ahead and launch the terminal and then you run this command it's called sudo apt dash add dash repository and then we're gonna take this this little thing here that it's the PPA uh, that Scott Ritchie set up on the winehq.org site to install the latest version of wine we're gonna paste that in there and we're gonna push enter and what this does is that it goes out and gets the authentication key for the PPA the personal package archive uh, for this prepackaged version of Wine 1.3, and it adds it to the system so that when you download the software, uh, it will be authenticated. Uh, you know, so you know that you're getting what you expect to get. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and update software sources to include the new PPA. That's sudo space app dash git space update, and then we're going to I'm going to go ahead and run the command also to install wine.1.3 uh, in the same command line so we'll put ampersand ampersand and then sudo app dash git space install space wine 1.3 and we'll push enter and as you can see uh, you know I've already changed my regular repository setup to, to point to ubuntu.osu.osl.org uh, which is a faster for me anyways uh, than the default and then as you notice went by there the uh, the PPA for the wine so I just want to take just a second to point out this window or or this output here from the command line uh, whenever you're doing stuff through the command line with apt dash git uh, or apt dash uh, well apt dash git or any of the apt tools and you see this this uh, this output here what you always want to check is to see if there's any packages that are about to be removed uh, I had a situation once where it said that the Ubuntu desktop was going to be removed and uh, if that happens <laughs> then you don't have the graphical user interface anymore you just have the command line for Linux so just always take a peek here at this line and make sure that it doesn't say uh, you know anything that that you don't expect so uh, as you see here it's going to install uh, wine 1.3 and then some additional packages that go along with that and so I'll go ahead and let this take off and go ahead and start downloading so uh, while we're waiting for this to download I want to mention I want to give a call out for uh, for wine tricks wine tricks is an awesome script that will automatically install software and dependency software for that for programs that you use in wine stuff like uh, MFC uh, you know some of these different dependent packages that you need to run certain Windows applications in wine on Linux uh, Dan Kegel uh, makes the wine tricks and it's available at wine tricks dot google code dot com uh, really really great awesome script uh, that that helps you to install software in Wine. Another thing, uh, whenever you're going to install some software in Wine, you should go out to AppDB.
that's appbb.winehq.org and search for that software there. Only install software that has a platinum or gold, uh, the worst case, silver rating. Uh, anything that's bronze or garbage, uh, you know, isn't isn't going to work very well in wine. Uh, Evernote has uh, platinum and gold ratings uh, from some different GNU Linux systems. Uh, so it, it's going to work pretty good. Anyway, so then when this whole thing's done installing wine 1.3, then the cursor comes back to the command line. And so now, since we have the installer for Evernote already here on the desktop, all you simply do is right click it and then left click open with Wine Windows Program Loader. And after a moment, it's going to come up with the regular installer just like you would see in Windows. So we just click on install and we click on finish. And then Evernote starts up here. And usually it'll have you logged in, uh, log into the program. I already had logged in earlier uh, from an earlier test install. But as you can see, it, uh, it works pretty good. You know, I bring it up, I add my notes. So anyways, and there it is. That's all it takes. Uh, so I want to take this, this moment to, uh, to give a shout out to all the people that make uh, free open source software available and also GNU Linux. And, uh, you know, rock on. Way to go.